what happened with the Rolling Stone 500 Greatest Songs of All Time list that came out yesterday, September 2021. Have you seen it? I'll put a link in the description of the video. Obviously, I can't remember anywhere close to what all the songs were on the list, but what I can tell you is number 500 was Kanye West Stronger, and number one was Aretha Franklin's Respect. Now, in between that, there were a lot of classics, but there were also a lot of new songs. And there were songs on there by artists like Cardi B, Megan Thee Stallion, Bad Bunny. I'm not suggesting that any of these artists make bad music, and I know that Old Town Road was a very popular song. I think it might have been number one for the longest uh, in, in chart history. But does it make it one of the greatest 500 songs of all time? Especially when tracks like Bill Haley's Rock Around the Clock were not on the list, or Jerry Rafferty's Baker Street, or Crosby Steele's Nash with Woodstock, written by Joni Mitchell. Great stuff. Groundbreaking stuff. What happened? Some people think the list was woke. And I don't believe it was a woke list. I think the list just lacked a lot of perspective from those who they surveyed. Because what they did was, they took 250-ish artists, musicians, producers, writers, critics, and they asked them what their top 50 songs were. So they list those songs, submit them, and then probably put them all on the computer and mathematically decided that these were the top 500 greatest songs of all time according to those they surveyed. They've obviously surveyed a lot of people in the hip-hop community. And that's a pretty tight-knit community. And one thing about hip-hop artists is it's very important to them that they legitimize their art form. And I totally get it. They're all about promotion. They're all about hype and self-promotion. And they work together and they credit each other on their tracks. So, of course, they want to support their peers and they want to support the people they collaborate with. So they're going to make the list. But I will say this. Let's say that you asked somebody what their favorite flavor of ice cream was, and they told you it was vanilla, and you said, oh, fantastic. I think a good follow-up question would be, so, besides vanilla, how many different flavors of ice cream have you tried? If they've only had vanilla ice cream, and they say that's their favorite, they lack perspective on any other flavor. If they've had 10 flavors of ice cream and they say vanilla, that's a little more legit. If they've had every one of Baskin Robbins 31 flavors and they still say vanilla is their favorite, that's a little more legit too. But if you've only tried vanilla, of course it's your favorite, if you liked it at all. I remember watching this YouTube video. It was actually a serious XM interview with Ad-Rock from Beastie Boys. It was on one of the hip-hop channels. They did it. It was on one of their morning shows. And the host asked Ad-Rock, what new hip-hop are you listening to right now? And he kind of laughed and said, I'm not listening to new hip-hop. I'm in my 50s. So what are you listening to then? He says, well, back in the old days, I was so just immersed in hip-hop, that's pretty much all I listened to. So now, I'm going back and checking out a lot of the music that I missed the first time around. Well, that makes sense. Of course. If you know anything about the Beastie Boys, they grew a lot as artists and as people throughout their career. Check them out sometime. They're pretty interesting. You know, where they started and where they ended up, very different places. Different people, better people. So I'm not blaming the hip-hop artists and producers that they surveyed for the list. I'm just simply saying that people like Megan Thee Stallion, who they mentioned by name and they did survey, knows a lot more about what's going on in the charts than I do. But to suggest that a lot of those songs on that list really belong there, well, who am I to be the judge? They didn't survey me, they surveyed them. But I do think it lacks perspective and I do think we can dismiss it. So don't worry about it. <laughs> That's all I have to say. I just wanted to do this quick video and you can watch my two hour live stream I did on that yesterday. 
counting it down if you want to or don't I was trying to be nice I wasn't always nice but I did my best but yeah I don't think it's a woke list I just think it's a list that lacks a lot of perspective that's it we'll see you next time thanks so much for watching I appreciate you take care practice and enjoy